Hi, I'm Mike McGee. I'm a professor in chemical engineering at the University of Colorado. I'm also the associate chair of the material science and engineering program, uh, and I'm a fellow in RACI, uh, and I have a joint appointment down at the National Renewable Energy Laboratory. The Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering here has a lot of strengths, but the one that I'll speak to is in uh, renewable energy. And I think the reason we're strong in that area is that we're located so close to the National Renewable Energy Lab, and we're also in Boulder, which is arguably uh, the number one location in the United States for people who care about renewable energy and sustainability. My group takes full advantage of the National Renewable Energy Lab uh, being nearby. Uh, in fact, two-thirds of my group uh, spends most of their time uh, down at the lab. My students, along with our colleagues at NREL, have made a world record all perovskite tandem solar cell that has 23% uh, power conversion efficiency. Uh, we've also set some of the records for stability with perovskite solar cells. Uh, we can uh, have our cells last for over a thousand hours at 85 uh, degrees uh, Celsius and 85% humidity. Uh, I'm also excited about uh, what, what our team is doing with dynamic windows. Um, we've uh, made a technology that switches fast and has a very neutral uh, color. Uh, we're making the windows larger and larger. Uh, and that work is attracting a lot of attention from uh, glass companies, window companies, and um, uh, automobile companies. Uh, people are even uh, thinking of applications for things like augmented reality goggles. You know, the world faces a lot of um, challenges, but I certainly think uh, one of the biggest ones is preventing uh, climate change. And uh, I think chemical engineers uh, have a big role uh, in, in multiple ways of generating energy and finding ways of uh, storing energy. And so I, I really think we have uh, an important role to play in addressing this uh, crucial problem.